S fam, I need your help. I'm making a new YouTube page where I can go and be professional about my drill sergeant stuff. This was originally my personal YouTube page, so I'm gonna keep this my personal and I'm making a professional. If you don't wanna really stay here with the personal, you can go over to the professional and I'll keep it focused and motivated. I'm gonna keep it focused and motivated over there on my drill sergeant and army stuff. Other than that, here I'll talk about some army stuff, but it's gonna be more personal, a more personal approach to it, all right? Go down to the description below to go to the new YouTube page and I'll also be leaving a thumbnail on the end of this video. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for your support. What up, y'all? It's your boy Lynch. I'm back again with another mother freaking video. If you don't know who Bobby Brown is, I don't know what to freaking tell you right now, bro. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Hey, so, I'm trying to get that motivation up in here, man. It's been a minute since I've seen Angry Cops. I see he got this thing up here, this video, the creepy commander versus the angry drill sergeant. I can only imagine what's gonna go on. I think I watched like maybe the first three seconds of him doing his intro, and he said the commander wants people to download an app or something like that. Now, I don't think that's a good thing to do. Requiring someone to download it, I don't know, I don't know. Let me watch and see what's going on first. Y'all ready to do this? Let's get into this motherfucking video, man. I will never get tired of playing Angry Birds. Ah, my drill sergeant sense is tingling. First thing I want to say, look at that sweat he got. He's not the only one. I do it too. Mine is a lot less worse today because, but we get hot doing these freaking videos, man. Let's keep it going, bro. But I can only need one thing. Some full bird colonel in a military intelligence unit is forcing his soldiers to download an app that can do questionable things. Hmm. How am I already sweating? Yes! Yes! That is what I'm talking about. Ha okay, anyway, let's go. Uh, ah, you know the saying, shit rolls downhill? Well, yep. it must be true, because I used to be toppling generals, and now I gotta go after a full bird colonel. For you wow. weirdos that are on ships and boats, there would be a captain. But look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Colonel Dietrich Trotter of the 504th Military Intelligence Brigade down in Fort Hood decided that an app that her genius little folks there created was so perfect and on point that everybody needed to download it to their phone. I don't, is he still in the army, man? Is he still in the army? Cause he do be going after these high freaking officials, bruh. I don't know. I don't. I think he's still in. I think someone said he's still in. I don't know, man. Anyway, let's go. Let's keep moving. And are these videos that he's watching, are they current? I don't know. Let's go. Let's keep watching. Get them on the same page. Make everybody work together. Cohesiveness. Cohesion. What are those bullshit words that businesses use to make them sound important? Synergy. You want to scissor synergize the shit out of your entire brigade? I guess that's one way to do it. But some issues popped up when some of the soldiers started looking oh, through the app and realizing well, just how powerful that thing was. Well, the app keeps soldiers up to date on training and weather changes. Well, not so bad, that's not okay. so bad. Okay. The app gives your chain of command access to all your contact information, which See, now, ain't I don't so like great that. there, Colonel Trotter. I don't want some- Yeah, I don't like that, man. You, it's, I don't think it's, this is just my opinion. It's just my opinion. But I, that's something kind of personal for anybody's higher up to have access to everyone in your contacts i don't think i'm i don't really think that's right like it's just my opinion i'm not sure that's right man okay all right company or battalion commander contacted my mom or sisters or dad or yeah. best friend out in east bumfuck new york hey yeah. drill sergeant high isn't here for formation he's two minutes late do you know where he, oh there he is hold on never mind thank you now he's not saying that this stuff is what's happening. And I don't know any commander in there, I don't know any commander that would really do something like that. But like I said, I mean, that's kind of that perception of why do they need, why does anyone need to have access to my contacts? Why does anyone need to have access to my contacts? You kind of wonder, what are they gonna do? What do they need that for? You, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, that's just my thinking. 
Thank you, ma'am. Do you really need the contact information of every woman that I've slept with for the past, I don't know, 15 years? We're just gonna call them up and ask them how I'm doing in the set. Now, <laughs> I, if I was single, I still don't even know if I'd have all the contacts of every Neither here nor there, y'all. You gotta... Uh, who? Why? Why? Okay. Hey, how's Joe Sarton's dong doing? That thing's on fire, isn't it? Oh, from Chlamydia? That's too bad. I guess we better put a red flag on his medical readiness. The app would also allow your chain of command to internally change dates and events on your calendar. If no, you're gonna go to the swingers on, party no. at 1700 on Friday night, you better put some weird slang in there and call it movie night with the human centipede. Tell me some private in that unit is gonna wow. look through your contact information and your calendar and start messing with it. All of a sudden your mom's name is Booby Patrisa and that dental appointment you had is actually <laughs> called prostate exam. Why do they need it? And who made this app? Who made this app? I know. I know that there are some high up, high ranking military officials. And they, you know, they have the intelligence to create apps and to create computer programs and stuff like that. I wonder who created this app. But why do you need access to change somebody, to edit somebody's dates and times and stuff on a calendar? That's He, I'm pretty sure there's got to be an explanation. He's got to say why he needs to do this stuff. All right, let's go. That's what I would do. Some of the other things this app can do is it can change your wallpaper. That's right. They don't want you to have photos of your dogs or that hot swimsuit model on there. That they got to make sure that crazy, it's something man. that's not going to offend anybody. Like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. On top of all that, it can rewrite your memory cards. So that heartwarming moment of little Billy knocking that baseball out of the park is going to be deleted by your chain of command. Because you memory don't have enough card. data available on your phone for the weather updates. They can prevent your phone from sleeping. Why would they do that? Unless I get it. So they can They're contact to you at all people. hours of the night. Exactly. They don't want people to say, oh, I turned my phone was off. I'm asleep. I'm, I'm not working, so I turned my phone off. That's probably why that... But why do you need to stop somebody's phone from sleeping? See, this app is, I don't know. I don't, I really don't think it's the right thing, man. I really don't think it is. Let's go. I, I bet you the emergency situation that they're gonna get a hold of you for is that mm -hmm. some E2 swallowed too much Jack Daniels and you gotta take him to the hospital because he's your soldier. Now, get any four to do it. They are out drinking with him anyway. It ain't my fault. I'm ignoring <laughs> your phone call for a reason. The soldiers and company that developed the app that are defending it, state that all these things can be changed, are in control by the client. Bullshit. See, that's another thing. I remember when Facebook tried to say that same thing. I think Facebook, if I'm not mistaken, Facebook was automatically doing stuff to your phone, but they say that you can control what they can and can't do. But anyway, being it just, it's just, why? Why? All right, let's go. When's the last time your command told you you were in charge and then they were micromanaging the shit out of you so you weren't really in charge when you were in charge? And I bet you $20 that I probably am not in charge of this fucking amp. At first, Colonel Trotter had a formation for her entire brigade informing them that they were gonna get that app downloaded on their personal cellular phone and battalion and company commanders would be checking their personal cellular device. That's nice. So he had this formation. He had this formation. Now, I can see, I can see them, I could see anyone requiring to have anyone in their organization. You have to have a phone, okay? Now, I don't think you keep making someone download an app. Now, giving them a phone with the app on it already, I can understand that. But making someone download the app on their phone, and I hope the app is free. All right, let's go. 
to make sure that it was out there. No, that just doesn't sound right. Luckily for us, some random person decided to leak this information out of the interwebs, and well, it created interwebs. quite the shitstorm. So after the internet got a hold of that, the colonel had a second formation where she admonished the person who put it online. Oh, I get it. You don't want to get charged for abuse of power. So you just want to keep everything in house, keep a tight lid on that abuse of power. Got to keep a tight lid on that like a pickle jar. Can't let little, oh, they're abusing their power and they're overstepping their bounds. And the my pickles are talking. They're forcing me to do The this. pickles this are talking. Got to keep that pickle jar tight. I'm going to shut that fucking pickle jar up. I'm going to shut the fuck up. The colonel went on to say that this was never mandatory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, colonel, didn't you say beforehand in your original briefing to your brigade that this was going to be... Basically a sensitive item, checked on by all leadership to make sure that you actually did download it. So what would have happened if they didn't? Seems as though there would have been repercussions if they didn't, because you're making sure that their battalion commanders and company commanders are checking that that thing is on their phone. That sounds So it was a brigade commander who said the battalion commanders. I, it's just, I don't know, man. There's nothing wrong with with brigade commanders trying to keep accountability. There's nothing wrong with that at all, but I don't know, man. Just I just I personally just think that this app is not a good idea. It's not. It's a good idea, but you can't force anyone. And then everything else that you have going on with it, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure, so. All right, let's go. Pretty mandatory to me to back up the colonel. A brigade spokesman stated that there was no formal obligation in order for soldiers to download the app to their personal cellular device. Well, what else you would you call it. your brigade commander telling everybody to download and that to there's going to be checks, PCIs, PCCs? Oh, I get it. Since I'm not wearing a top hat right now, I guess I can't receive any formal obligations right now. I can't receive any formal obligations until I have a top hat. And I, you can't give them unless you got a bow tie. Keep it formal. One NCO was interviewed about <laughs> and said, hey, listen, I don't want them to have access to my photos or my videos because right. my wife sends me a couple nudies every now and again, right. and I don't want that thing plastered all over the brigade there area saying, you go. hey, check out Sergeant So-and-So's wife's now, hooters. I'm sure, I'm, sh I'm sure the brigade commander would not say, hey, this guy's doing this in his photos and stuff like that. I'm sure of that, but still, it's still a question like, why do you need access? What, what for, you know? That's all. Let's go. The most impressive thing to come out of this story, the comments left by those who downloaded it and wanted to leave some feedback. One of these stunning reviews is left by uh -oh. James Gordon. He uh -oh. says, this is quite possibly the worst thing that the army has ever created. Not only does your COC, your chain of command, spend 24 seven thinking of new and interesting ways to screw you, now, they want unfettered access to your phone, all your data, any relevant personal information, and the small piece of your soul that you still have left. Retention NCOs for the brigade probably hate their lives. If this is what the chain of command comes up with for your phone, just imagine what being in that unit is like. Mm. Jeffrey adds, dumpster fires have a bigger fan club than this invasion <laughs> of privacy. Retention clearly must not Invasive be an issue anymore privacy. with required downloads on personal property of the soldier. OER bullets should read, accountability was kept on all soldiers at 100% all the time. I hope you make. And Cody Norwood seals the deal with, loving this app from Russia. Thanks for the up-to-date info and easy to target and secure location. Please, make this DOD wide. I don't need a GPS to tell me that every specialist is chilling out in the barracks instead of at their dental appointment they told me they were going to and skipping PT. I got it. Heaven help me if you take the boys out to a titty bar in the middle of town and your chain of command beep 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 beep. Oh, he's at a place that's off limits. I wonder if the thing can track your heartbeat. It's See, but now stuff like that, you shouldn't, you just shouldn't be at places that are off limits anyway. You can get in trouble for that. So there's nothing wrong. You know, if someone wants to go to a gentleman's bar, as long as it's not off limits, or somebody wants to go to a certain club or something like that, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But I, per I, I don't know. This is just my thoughts on it, man. And maybe just depending on the unit and their SOP, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. You, I don't think that. I just don't think that's a good idea to be tracking people like that. Maybe it's needed for something. You know, I don't know. But you should have a phone, or just a straight business phone for something like that, I think. It's just my thoughts on it, y'all, okay? Let's keep it going. If so, I'm gonna do a lot of extracurricular activities to make them think I'm having a heart attack. 
All right, yeah, like, that's a tough one, man. It's not really a tough one. I think point blank period, like, it just depends, like, why? Why have edit to all the pictures? Why, you know, why have access to the pictures? Why have access to the contact? Why have access to the memory card? It makes sense. Oh, you, you, but you can't have access to, I don't, I don't know, man. Angry Cops is making a good point with this. He's making a lot of good points with this. But anyway, y'all, like I said, it's been a minute since I reacted to an Angry Cops video. Some of y'all love it when I do it. Some of y'all hate it when I do it. But I do it. Y'all feel me? Anyway, it's your boy Lynch. Y'all stay focused and motivated up in this chat one time. Yeah. I'm out, y'all deuces.